hello everyone welcome to the video and in this video we are going to see the practical application of various important text function in excel this is going to be a simple case study but here you will understand how important the text function are and how we can use it efficiently to get the work done now before we get started let me just tell you that B10X has an amazing workshop on MS Office, MS Excel, using ChatGPT and other AI tools. The link is in the description and we will talk more about it later in this video. Do you want to convert boring looking data in Excel just like this to stunning looking dashboards in Power BI just like this? If you want to learn all of this, then join me in my 9 rupees Power BI domination workshop. I have a movies data here and we have some following tags to do so basically we need to find out the genre code of the movie okay so in order to find the genre code genre code is basically the first letter of the genre so how we'll find it now you already know the function left function right if I use left function and go to genre and I want first characters so I'll just click on okay now here since I'm using it in a table that's why it is taking the table format which is the column name and uh, a good thing about table is I just need to write it I don't need to drag it will automatically pop it so since I use the left function I got the genre code so from every genre I'm getting the first letter A H R so A is adventure H is horror R is romantic and then again C is comedy right now here I want director name and I want the director's first name. So how do I get that? So you know that first of all this Steven Spielberg is there. So for getting the first name I can use equal to and then left and then this one. But where do I stop? Because in Steven if I start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 right. So 6 characters I want. Right, so let's say let's say I provide six, right? I provide six and click the data on enter. So here I got James, Steven, and but Stanley, you see, I'm not getting full name. Okay. Similarly for Wes, it is it should be Wes only, but here I'm getting because I'm hard coding it. So I need a way so that I can you know split it by space. So one function that you have already known is text split. Uh, so that also we can use because we have spaces here. But there is other functions we can combine to get this result. So for example, if I use left again and click on this, now instead of hard coding the number of characters, let me just use the find function. And what I want to find, I want to find the space, right? And then provide comma and within this director column only. Now if I close it, you will see it's getting Steven. Now what is happening? Find gives you a number, right? So find, you see, it gives you a number, the index number where the, uh, where it able to find the space or something, whatever you provide the text, right? So that number is used as this particular one, okay, number of characters. So tell the space, whatever the number of characters, we are getting that. Understood? So if you see, Wes, uh, Joy, Go, Jordan, Todd. Binion. so everything is perfect right similarly to get last name we need to use the right function okay and this one and here we need to use len of the director minus find space in the director So if you use this now you see we are getting the last name as well now why use len because find will give you the number of characters uh, find will give you the number of characters where it's able to find the space and it will start finding from the left but we are using the right function so we are going from this side to this side so we want the full length and then deduct this length right so i will get the full length so this one is my full length and I'll detect this length where find able to find the index number of the space. 
then I'll left with this one, which is nothing but my result, right? Before we move forward in the topic, let me tell you that AI is not going to replace you, but a person using AI will. So if you don't want to lag behind, then join the workshop to learn AI hacks in MS Office using ChatGPT and other AI tools. You don't need to have any prior knowledge for this and I'm pretty sure that you will become hyper efficient post this. So what are you waiting for? Join our workshop by clicking the link in the description below. Now let's get back to our topic. Then we want to write formatted director name which is like you know first the last name then comma with the first name. So I'll do that you know the text join thing right. So text join and the delimiter should be comma and a space and then I want to ignore the empty thing then comma my text first text would be the last name and the second text would be the first name right and if I close the bracket you'll see I'm getting last name and then first name. Now the next thing is I want to see the movie length so if I just hit on equal to use the len function right so len function and use the movie name and if I close the bracket I got the length of the movie so this seems the smallest it is called get out and and this one as well right Titanic now the movie so the movie is basically where the is present right so if I use the find function here so if I use find I want to find the now in which text now in any of this movie text so you see wherever I have the th the consuming and here also the shining I am getting the result but here I am getting value but you can see the is there the riders of the lost ark similarly here the is there here pirates of the caribbean but it is showing me this the the curse of black and uh, similarly mm, yeah, yeah yeah so these two caches like you can see i should be getting this index but i am getting this one so how to do case insensitive finding so i need to use search so instead of find if i just use search and hit enter now you see i'm getting the value because and here also uh, if you see here also i am getting this one previously it was something like uh, this particular door, right but now i'm getting this one right and wherever it is not present it's just giving me value error so to let's say i don't want this value error i some i need some you know valid text so what i'll do so to remove this error i can use the if error function so if it is an error give me zero right so now you see wherever the error is there i'm getting zero otherwise i'm getting the number index number where it is found now let's say i want found and not found instead of letters or numbers or something like that right so what i'll do i'll just use if function on top of it so if so if this is equal to zero then i want not found right if it is anything other than zero that means found right so you see found found here not found and found not found like that amazing right now what's the secret there so secret is let's say we have a text like this like and subscribe right now let's say i want to count the number of words there so mind it i'm count i want to count the number of words not the number of letters so how can i find the number of letters so len this one this this gives me the number of letters present right now if i want to remove space what function i use i already told you we can use the substitute function right this one is my text i want to replace the space with nothing so this is the length without any spaces now what is the length of this one so length of this one so we get 60 so there are two spaces so how number of characters is 
number of characters you can get equal to this one minus this one right and if I add plus one to it I will get the number of words present in a sentence okay this is three and I can do everything in a single formula as well so which is like this I want len of this one minus len of substitute this one space so so maybe I missed some bracket but yeah I fixed it and again I forgot to add one plus one that's it so in a single formula I get the number of words present in this sentence so I hope you understand so you can like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time please do like comment share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos also do check out our workshop link in the description we'll see you there thank you